my post-fight thoughts on this past Saturday's Triple G, Gennady Golovkin versus Marco Antonio Rubio fight. Uh, first of all, the questions regarding is Triple G pay-per-view worthy, and I'd say he is. There's been uh, promoters in the past, Cotto's uh, handlers and promoters, saying that uh, a fight versus Cotto and Golovkin doesn't make sense because uh, Golovkin has never fought on a pay-per-view card and has never headlined a, a pay-per-view card, but uh, I was there, witness to this Saturday night's fight, and the place, not a huge venue there at the StubHub Center, but the place was packed, and uh, the atmosphere was incredible, and there was a lot of love for Golovkin there in Southern California. So uh, I think that he is pay-per-view worthy, and, and it's time to, to step up the competition, and if he doesn't fight Cotto or Canelo, then I believe fights versus Carl Frock or uh, Kid Chocolate or Chavez Jr., those are all big names, especially Frock and uh, Chavez Jr., then uh, maybe he needs to go up to 168 if he can. But I, I think he campaigns at a weight that he's comfortable at right now and has no trouble making at 160 pounds. And I think that that's, that's really where he, he is best to fight right now, but I think that the excuses from other guys need to stop as well, but HBO needs to stop lowballing possible opponents and um, and get Golovkin bigger fights because uh, he, he has that fan-friendly style, and I can see him filling up even bigger venues with that style, and um, hopefully we do see him whether it's paper read or not, but uh, on on to bigger cards and and fighting bigger names, and we'll see. I, I just don't think he's gonna go up to one sixty eight right now unless he was offered a lot of money, but I don't see that happening. And other than that, I think uh, I'll stand by what I've said in previous video, uh, videos that Golovkin is a real deal, and uh, we just have to wait and see him in there versus some of the top guys around the weight classes that he's campaigning at.